151 Brigade have been placed at the disposal of 150 Brigade. Yes. So which means they actually are being fed through there. So yeah. all of that filming makes sense. Yeah, so it says... What's it say? So that's 150... So in the early evening, the 151st Brigade, which is the 8th and 9th yeah. Durham, yes. eight and nine Durham's, they attacked Prue Trench from its junction with cough drop uh, and left hook trench at 9.45 p.m. What I would say, I think the film that we're looking at is further to the left. That's later in the day. That's on the far right of the village. And I think all of that filming was done early in the day, not later in the day. We've just come into the village of Bomo Hamel on the uh, trail, really, of a piece of film shot in um, 1916. Um, this village fell to Allied forces on the 13th of November, and cameraman came here and filmed virtually where we are now. Um, and although it says Bomo Hamel in the information, we no one until now has ever known it was virtually where we are now. And we're now on the trail of some other locations from the same film and eventually we'll build up a complete picture of where the film was shot and largely who's in it. This is the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what they've done, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that is somewhere here. Somewhere along I think the if you didn't have those trees, you've got that. Yeah. You've got that drop down to the road. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah, and he's just off the road a bit, isn't he? He's just so come off the road, road, hasn't he? Road's about here somewhere. He stopped. But what, I'll tell you what, yeah, so what, what a, a great bit of archaeology. Yeah. Under there, there must be. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's going to be just full of stuff. We're on the edge of the village of uh, uh, Martin Puy. Uh, with Bazan town behind us and that's the main road from Albert all the way up to Bapome and on the um, 15th of September uh, soldiers of 9th uh, Scottish Division attacked through here going towards the village with Durham's on their right and we're virtually on their jumping off position uh, but a cameraman uh, came here a bit like today filming um, and filmed the entire attack starting at around 6.30 in the morning um, and remarkably he was then here for most of the morning filming prisoners, wounded coming back. Um, we just got to find the other locations now. Well, it's 6.30 in the morning though in September. Okay, no, you know, I, I, I mean, it could, no, it could be got, yeah. I was from the point of view whether you're using smoke. No, I don't think they smoked it. So. <laughs> That's the signal. There's not a lot you can see behind them, is there? No, no. But if we know he was here, he's not moved far, no. has he, to it's film? Him, he's not it? running around. Now, oh, here we go, this is nice. There's a vicar set up. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a, there's a, a line and then a fold and then there's... Ooh. Is that people? It is. So, so would you think there's a line? And a... That, that woodland there is very distinctive. And it's we've got those trees. Yeah. So is that the road? Or are we yeah. further off the road than we thought? Is that line of trees? Is that in fact can, on your map? That's the road. Is that the, is that the yeah. main road? That's the, yeah, I'll yeah. Up on. Well, that's it then, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's to, to get that to get that angle. Then yeah. he's back there somewhere. Yeah, he's over there. Yeah, because the road, road, what I was going to say is because although we're here, is so where the Durham's are is actually further forward. Yes. Is actually further forward that, that way. way. Because the line does that. That, yeah, because they're actually attacking it, it bends around. around. Well, the thing is that the horizon's there, isn't it? We've got the same horizon. But that then is actually twisted that way. In fact, look at that. Sorry. Look at that. Look, behind you've got wood. Yeah. You've got woods. Yeah. yeah, that's it. In the background. It's that's the same, here. It's the same woods. Hmm. In fact, there's actually, on the edge of frame, we've got that. Now we've got those things. You see, <laughs> guess what, Neil? See there, see that vertical? Yeah. Look over there, what can you see? Telegraph poles. poles. They're in the same place. Yeah, you were right, mate. So telegraph poles, right across, look, they go right across the front. In fact, left, right to left, straight across, telegraph poles and a diagonal. He's somewhere on this corner. They quite respect these things. Right, okay. 
Because I was going to say, when you're up here, yeah. that side not so much, but from this side, you can, it, you can see pretty much almost the line of the wall on that side. It's almost a rectangle, isn't it? Yeah. It opens up here. You see that, that bit going out there? <coughs> yeah. I'll just play that now. Okay. He's just moved along the top of the bank. Everyone see that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's there, that curve there. And that, that scar there may well be this, this scar thing, here. Yeah. And then the bridge is just down there as it curves See, I thought away. that scar there, I thought that was some sort of trench thing and it's not, is it? No, it's, it's an entrance to a dugout, isn't yeah. it? Big one. Yeah. And we're standing well on this track here, yeah. just there. Just yeah. there. And he's just filming over And he's the, just standing up there. Yeah, that's yeah. elsewhere, isn't it? Look at how yeah, what yeah. we're looking at here is basically the river Anka is behind us and the marsh, and then the Germans in 1916 are that way, so that the British soldiers, before then the French, have dug in and they've actually put in dugouts. And what's happened is over the last hundred years, the roofs collapsed. So what we've got is an indentation, which is the way in, and then a roof collapse. And next to it, where Neil is now, is an even bigger one. So there's dugout upon dugout. And if you look up here, there are also trenches coming down. So during the war and shell fire, you're sheltered, and if you need to, you can go deep in your dugout and take shelter from the shell fire. 